fixing my hammock life. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to get started. Well, because it's going to take me a while to retie this whole entire hammock. And I still have to go outside and then we have to hang it and then do the finishing of the tying. So we're going to start in here where it's not as cold and then move on to being outside. So let's get started. And this is just a random live, obviously. I told you guys. And I have to start by laying my new hammock. Cause I say new because I've finished making it myself. To the ground here. And I'll be crawling around. Because that's just what I do when I'm in the living room. So, welcome anybody that's joining in while we hang out on the living room floor. Can you pull that side back towards you again? And Scott's hanging out on the floor with me. Keep going. There we go. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do on my hammock here. Look, the cat even came out to see. What in the heck is a mama doing? He's like, what is she doing? It's rope. I want to play. I'm going to actually start just double rolling around these. And I'm going to temporarily tie my hammock. Because um, when I go outside, I need to be able to do the adjustments. Nope. So I'm wrapping it around the wood. And then I'm just making a, a simple knot for now. Not a knot, but a... Um, just trying to get them all tied. So I go around the, um, going around the D ring twice and then around the wood once. And then I'm just kind of putting a quick little tie. That way when I go outside, I can adjust. D-ring twice. Yep, and then around the wood once. And then putting a temporary tie. Is there anybody on? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Jen. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Joe. Hi, Marla. Um, yep, he's, oh boy, strings. All right, here you go, Scotty. Hope everybody's having a good morning. What time is it here? Right yeah. It's nine, almost ten in the morning. Let me just do it. I'm quick with this. I want to know. Oh, yeah, I'll come over there. So you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not in the way of the camera. Yeah, I'm doing temporary ties for now. So we go outside. And then I'll, when we go outside, I'll tell you guys, camera's moving. <laughs> so that you know. And then we'll set it up outside so that you can watch me hang it on the U-frame. And when I say U-frame, it's because the frame is shaped like a U. I'm holding it purposely. Oh, well, I need more. Sorry. Just read comments there. Yep. So I had a comment on last night's video for the So Sunday video where I did this. And one of the comments was, it looks so easy, it is possible to make your own hammock. Well, honestly, it is possible to make your own hammock. So while I'm tying this, I can tell you to make your own hammock, you need two pieces of wood. That's the width of however wide you want your hammock. So if you want a two-person hammock, this was like 
46 inches, I think, or 48 inches, somewhere in that um, inch range. And then you need rope, really good rope. Climbing rope would probably be good, as we heard last night. Um, you can buy the climbing ropes at any um, sporting goods store. And then you need to be able to have two big, huge hoops to tie your ropes to. And then you need D-rings, however many it is for however the width is that you're doing. You need a drill to drill the holes for the rope to go through. You would need nylon strapping for the nylon, um, for the straps to be held properly. And then you need a canvas, which is what the um, hammock was made from originally. You need a really tough outdoor canvas fabric, as well as um, you will need uh, a secondary piece of fabric, so that way it's not as rough like canvas actually is, pretty rough, you know. Um, you'll need a secondary fabric to go over it, so that way the two layers last longer. And then really just your sewing machine after your holes are drilled in your wood, and you can do any thickness of wood, probably um, oops, why didn't I go around? Uh, what is this? A one, no, this is a one and a half by one inch piece of wood, I think. So it's one and a half by something. And then that's it. You sew all the pieces to the end at a specific distance wherever you had tied your wood, you know and put your rope through, I think it's pretty plausible to do on your own and do your own hammock. The only thing is, is depending on how you want to hang it, like if you want to hang it from pillar to pillar on your house, like somewhere outside, um, or if you have a U-frame like I have, that would also work. Who? Happy birthday, Sarah. All right, my little temporary ties around the rope. Two more on this side, and then I'm going to move to the other side. And it seems kind of like I'm going to be doing this tight. Well, it has to because of the shape of the um, the frame out there. It hung pretty tight before it broke. But these D-rings should now prevent it from ripping, hopefully. All right. There's one side temporarily tied. Go to the other side. I'm hoping I'm in, in the camera. Yep, I definitely keep going. Okay, so now I'm on this side. I want it about right there. There. Pulling them all through. He's like, I want this hammock. Oh, 
This is going to take me a little bit to do, especially once I go outside because I have to do this all over again. <laughs> well, just tightening of it. The rest is already pre-tied, pre-wrapped. And it's going to be cold out there because it's only like uh, 48, 47, 48 it was last time I went outside. And I don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah, right. If you guys haven't seen it already, Thumper has his own video on my channel. He likes to bother me at night, and he did again last night. Last night, his thing was digging at a s nothing on the floor in the hallway. He just kept digging and digging and digging at this, just the regular hardwood. And he was just, I don't know, I don't know what the heck his problem was. Like, he was playing with a ghost. He was just digging away, and it was annoying me because I left my door open so that he wouldn't play the open and close door game with me because he just kept meowing when I did close it. Such a weird cat. Cats are odd. Okay. Share them in the Facebook group or a private message? Yeah. Share them in the group. If you guys don't know about the Facebook group, it's linked in the description below every single video. Join that. Make sure you ask the question, answer the questions though, because for the last couple weeks, I have been getting spammed with random names, and they're not answering the questions, so they don't get approved. And I did that on purpose, because I definitely don't want a bunch of strange weirds inside the group causing a ruckus. You know what I mean? I try to keep it regular, <laughs> like a regular group of people that watch my videos. Becca's on. Hey, hey, Becca. Thank you, Becca. Thank you for sharing the Facebook group. If you guys don't know my friend Becca, she has a YouTube channel too. And right now, I just watched this morning, about two hours ago, her um, twelve or her Christmas. Um, oh my God, what are the words called? Her Christmas vlog. Her. 25 days of Christmas, and today, since her cotton cuts box was over, she opened a new box, which I brainly don't remember the name. It was something weird. It was a weird name. But someone she found on um, YouTube, and they had a box, so she got it for the Christmas box so that you can unwrap yourself a gift every single day. Before Christmas, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Sarah and Sarah Bennett, Jim's daughter. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the same as the dad. Oh, and yeah, because he's yeah, he's he's a night owl, huh? Your daddy. <laughs> yep. Jim's always been a night owl. He was always on my insomniac episode because he couldn't sleep. <laughs> All right. Now it's time. Give me the other side. Here, I can carry it out for you. All right, Scott's going to carry this out. 
and then we're going to go outside, and I'm going to take you guys outside where it's nice and cold. <laughs> All right, guys, ready to go outside to my hammock area. All right, camera's moving, camera's moving. Say say bye-bye, Tumper. We're going outside. Yep, he'll watch us through the window while we're out there. I got to put my flippers on. I am not walking outside without something on my feet. All right. All right, camera's moving. Going outside. Whoa, sorry about that. This darn frame hits everything on the way. All right. Welcome to my backyard. This is my hammock frame. And you guys will be able to hear me once I'm over here. Right there. All right, here you go, Scotty. All right. So temporarily is tied. I'm gonna go ahead and these have these little hook things, they're metal and they screw on like this. It's gonna be super tight right now, which is kind of good because I wanna make sure I tie it properly. So you can see that's the distance I fell pretty much when it ripped. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by just fixing and centering. Yeah, no grass here. I mean, some people have grass in like the golf course areas. But they have to water it 24 seven and we don't have that much water. <coughs> All right. It looks like I tied it pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the double knot in actually, because it looks like I did good. Before you tie all of them, did you wanna try some? I can't push down. It's not hitting the metal. No, it's it good. shouldn't. This is the height I need it. Okay, so we tie them all I'm double knotting now. Just give me a second. I can help with that. Why not? What kind of knot you do? Anybody don't know how to do that? <laughs> He's like, I could help. I see the knot you're doing. So I'm just doing knots. How many of you guys think I did a good job? And this will hold my weight. I don't weigh much, so it should it should hold my weight. But I'm kind of curious if it will hold me and Scott like it's supposed to. The original weight limit on this was uh, 300 and I think it was like 350 pounds, honestly. But. We'll see. This better be comfortable now that it's fixed. Now that it's done, it better be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it better I have be. I feeling your rope's going to be the next thing eaten by the sun. Though. Some of these need to be. Tighten some more. I'll let you do that, I guess. Mm -hmm. You want me to do those knots over there? Nope, I got it. Well, if you want to come and do the best ones, I can do the end ones. I got it all. Okay, okay. I did up to here. So I just did Whew! It's a lot of rope tying here, guys. Katrina says you should use sailor knots. <laughs> this and Mary is... says no, the stones beats the hell out of mowing. <laughs> yep. I thought this was going to take a lot longer, but it looks like it's going to be good. Always says you need a big pillow to complete it. Yeah, you know, and that's what I didn't do during yesterday's video was I didn't recover the pillow. But instead, what I'm going to do is just make a pillow case for my uh, regular pillow and just use a regular pillow instead of the one that originally came with this because it's very flat. Do you want 
tighten this some more? Nope. It's good. The ones over there all seem kind of tight. These ones here seem loose. Okay. Give me two seconds. Well, here, I'll undo it. You I got it. These. Honey, I know how to untighten this. I know. There we go. It's tight now. It's tight now. Oops, get through the hole. All right, guys, almost ready for the test of the test of truth. Will it hold? <laughs> or did I do all this for nothing? <laughs> almost ready. This ought to be this ought to be fun. OK, it is super tied. All right, and if I rub my microphone, I'm very sorry. I'm so scared. Oh, it's not gonna fall pretty. Oh. You're fine. Ah, oh, you guys, it worked! Yay! You know how comfortable this is. I could just <laughs> sleep here all day if it wasn't so cold. Needs to be a little bit more in the afternoon because the afternoon it's warmer. Let's see if it holds both of us, Scott. You're gonna have to hold, hold on. on. Sit down. We go at the same time. When I come Can in. it? Will it? Will it hold? Will it hold? Come on. Come on. <laughs> he weighs more than me, so it makes it awkward. All right, guys, it's holding me and Scott. I did good. Look at that. Yay. I need to be like in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you can get off. Yeah, it's way leaning on my side. Oh. Are you okay with it? Yep. It's going to turn. Yep. Oh. Oh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> so it works. Look at that, guys. I think I need to make it go tighter, though. Yeah. I need to pull this side up more. That's what I was saying. Yeah, all these here are super loose. We because all of them up. as soon as you were on it, my butt was touching the uh, the frame. Well, here, I will help you untie it. How about that? We're going to tighten it just a little bit. If I can get my knots undone. Let you do the tightening, just let me untie. Uh, but it holds us. So it didn't rip, so I, my stitching is good. All right, let's go. How much more? A bit more than that. About right there. One. And two. Yep, just a little bit more, guys. Pull this one. Just as tight as the other. This is so great, because now when I set up my pool, that I can actually come out of the pool and lay on this. Get me some sun. Did you guys know I like to sunbathe? I am a sunbathing aholic. Not for the tan of it, just because I like the warmth on my skin. I know it's weird, right? Especially when it's like 110 out. Yeah. You lay out here when it's even hotter. Yep, I can lay out here when it's 120.
What are they saying in the chitty chat? I don't know. I'm untying ties. You want me to stop? Am I not allowed to untie ties? Oh, you can untie, baby. You can untie. <laughs> okay, yes, you got it all done. Right on. I'd love to be in the sun right about now. I'm freezing. Yay, I'm glad you got it. Good morning. The sun right now is still freezing. Yes, well, it'll pass. Next week it'll be warm again. It's supposed to rain again one day this week. Tuesday. Right? It's supposed tomorrow. to rain all day tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I don't want the fall and break. Okay, I did. I do that one. This one. All right, Wait, almost. Yeah. Just tightening it just a little bit more. That way, when two people are on it, my bum does not hit the. It's rare I'm on it with you. Yeah. Because you lay on it when it's way too hot. Okay. And we can't leave it out here all day. We have to bring it in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this side now. I'm just going to roll it up tighter. It's too bad there's not a bunch of quail out right now. We could show them how much quail we get. We get so much quail here, and they are big dinner size quail, let me tell you. <laughs> we get some big old bunnies too. Yeah, nice big chunky bunnies come out too. Too bad. I don't know. How, I, I don't even know if I've ever tried bunny before. I don't think you're supposed to eat cottontail though, but I mean, you can. There's nothing else to eat in the world. I don't know if Peter Rabbit's going to be a good meal for me, though. <laughs> Elizabeth is saying yum. Yum. But the quail, on the other hand, I would eat the quail. Quail's good. I've had quail before. I don't know how to uh, prep them to eat myself. I know how to cook them. I don't know how to take their feathers and stuff off. You don't eat breast. There's a way to pull it. Comes right apart. All right. Making this nice and super tight. I'm pretty sure it'll last me this whole summer too, which would be good. That's pretty much all I need it for is this in between um, summer and um, spring and fall and summer, between those months. I already got all the way up to there. I see. Oh, you took the tablet over there. Lori said her, her ex and the kids love rabbit. Uh -huh. That's the last comment. I was trying to come help you. Yeah, but are you supposed to eat jackrabbit or um, cottontail? Like, which one is more edible? I'm kind of curious now because we get rabbits all the time here. But like I said, I don't really want to kill Peter Rabbit to eat him. <laughs> or little bunny Foo Foo. Yeah, little bunny Foo Foo hopping through the forest. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine rabbits, rabbits probably all taste the same, right? 
Probably does. Okay, Elizabeth says you can eat both. Not and tail is not as game. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Oh, our pattern in Norway. What you got there? Oh, good. I'm glad. Glad all of you guys are receiving everything that I've sent off in the mail in the last couple weeks. She said she's never done a wool applique before. It will be a nice challenge. That's awesome. Rory says no, not jackrabbit, cottontail. Okay. So you eat cottontail, not jack. Okay. <laughs> Twilight in Norway, she says that uh, the snow there is knee high. She says quite a lot of difference from where we live. Yeah. Everywhere is quite a lot of difference from here. <laughs> she says rabbit stew is really yummy. Judy says both are really good. Baked fried and bunny burgers, lol. Bunny burgers. Interesting. I've never had a bunny burger, but I would eat one. I think fried. All right. Looks equal. Let's Let lay on one it more one more time. I want to get into the center. That's why I like rub it under my legs. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Ah. I could just sleep. I need a pillow, though. I mean, you really don't need a pillow because of the, the shape of it. You don't really need a pillow, but the only position you can lay in on these, though, is on your back, which is the sucky part because if you try to lay on your side, it's keeping the balance, which is a hard thing to do. Yep, it's a nice size. You can just spread your wings and enjoy the sun. Yeah. Yeah, we, we bought the hammock for $61 on Wish. That was with shipping and everything. It came up to $61. And the frame was free because it was up the street in somebody's garbage. And then trying to find the right hammock for this kind of frame was definitely a struggle. <laughs> Walk the frame down here. Not very heavy. So you can see, look at that. It's wonderful. I just can't keep it out in the sun, that's all. Lori says, have you ever got fucked off your hammock? Um, I've fallen off I haven't since I was a kid. Once on this one, and that's because tree kept getting off and on, remember, and I fell off. Yep. And then the time it ripped, obviously, yep. which was two months ago. <laughs> so there we have it. Nice hammock in my rock yard. <laughs> <laughs> so that sandy area is where my pool usually goes, guys. And then we're going to take you and show you some sky. This is what it looks like here today. Nope, there's no bunnies or birds. There's some sun hiding behind the palm tree because I stood right here purposely. It's beautiful skies. The clouds are going to start rolling in later because it's supposed to rain. The only thing I hate about my house is see all the wires. The wires run like directly behind my house and it blocks my view of let's go look at the lake see if you guys could see it i don't know how well it's going to show up on a camera but we're going to see right now i don't think i can see the lake i think we have to take off on the roof can you see the lake i hold it right here uh this is right on A little bit. There's our short people view of the lake. It's hard to tell it's a lake, but you can see water. Yeah. And then the mountains all around us. All right. Let's put that back down. Flip the camera around. All right, guys. So I finished my hammock. It was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to take me like an hour. <laughs> it's only taken me 35 minutes. Hey, it's done. That's a good thing. Because <laughs> now I can lay on it later when it's warmer. And that's so cold out here. Anyway, well, this was just a quick video, I guess. Um, oh, I can show you guys real quick. Remember I said I was cleaning my garage and garage sailing for five days? Uh, I don't know if you, any of you remember how messy my garage was before when I took my, when I took my long arm out. If, 
you know, right when we took it out, this whole one side where my long arm was filled up so quick. Um, it is actually now clean. So let's go look at my um, clean garage. So this is what I did, and this is what took a few days. So this whole side now, this is the um, deep part of the garage. This is the boat deep part. There's my car. Look at how clean it is. I can literally walk in here. We have storage and then batting rolls. And that's the boat deep side where Scott's standing. See? Yeah, so now I have a walkable garage. Like if I wanted to put my long arm back out here, I probably <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> because it's too cold out here. Anyway. It's too hot in the summer. And it's too hot in the summer. So the not this is what we summer. spent the weekend and a couple days before the weekend doing and why I didn't sew for five days is because we cleaned in here and now it echoes like a brand new garage. <laughs> anyway, all right guys, I'm gonna get off of here and I thank you guys for hanging out while I finished the hammock and it works, yay. So that's a plus, I did good. <laughs> I give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas.